rolled into the top end last week and it was hot. But is it too hot to play tennis? No, it wasn't. Tennis in the Territory is, is really a thriving and growing sport and particularly in regional and remote parts of the NT and I think we're starting to see some really positive growth here in, uh, in the top end. It's a game you can take with you for life and I think a lot of people, a lot of parents are recognising that, encouraging their kids to get into it at an early age so look it's a wonderful game and uh, it's certainly been recognised here in, uh, in the Territory as, as one of the best. Norman Duff visited Nightcliffe Primary School where they play a lot of sport. You can just see the kids running around us now, they've all got their tennis rackets in their hand, they're all excited. Uh, they love seeing the trophies, you know, they, they watch it on television, they see their heroes, they're actually able to touch a trophy that, you know, their heroes have touched. The future of tennis is in pretty good hands. Having a good PE program is essential. It's something, a lot of kids who aren't academic, is the one thing they can hang their hat on. So having that gives them some self-esteem, part of our school culture too. So does the hot weather make the top end hot competitors in the AO Blitz? I mean, we've got sunshine here all year round, so um, a lot of people are always playing sport, so I reckon we'll go all right. These are the reasons why you want these players playing for your towns during the Australian Open in 2014.